you know, dance in America in, in my lifetime is inextricably tied to the National Endowment for the Arts. When the, Kennedy and his wife, Jacqueline, um, became such arts enthusiasts, they sort of looked to Europe uh, and the idea that government funding for the arts is a very intelligent thing, and they were right. And so you had in the 60s and 70s this real explosion of dance support through the government. Then as we moved into the 80s, um, budgets became tighter. And by the mid to late 80s, there was this political reaction against the National Endowment for the Arts. You know, the conservatives were against spending taxpayer dollars for anything except war. And um, on top of that, uh, there was some controversial endowments to such things as the art of Robert Maplethorpe, who was openly gay and had some, a lot of what conservatives felt was really outlandish gay imagery. And then Andrew Serrano had a famous work with the crucifix stuck in a container of urine. And this, the NEA suddenly became this cause celeb, and we have to fight it for moral reasons. So uh, all of that gradually diminished the impact of the NEA. And the dance world, which you know, struggles to break even, had to look to other sources. So uh, these various universities you know, had funds to put on these art series as an enhancement for their students. And it became a real means for these uh, companies to survive. So that's part of it. And as a result, the College of DuPage, for instance, for a long time, Paul Taylor kept showing up there when he wasn't playing at the auditorium, where, for instance, the NEA funding was always quite critical. 